What is going on? This is Arno Jerry Summer, and in this video, I'm going to show you some advanced iMovie video editing tips that will make sure that you're going to have a higher retention rate on your videos, you're going to keep your audience engaged, and that you're going to get more and more views to your YouTube videos and also your channel. So I have to be upfront with you, and this is not a beginner video. So if you don't know how to trim, if you don't know like the basics of iMovie editing, then this video is definitely going to be too advanced for you. And you probably should start watching other videos that are like talking about the basics before you get started with this. But if you already have a good amount of experience editing videos using iMovie for Mac, then I think you're going to get a lot out of the next few minutes and you're going to be able to increase your retention rates, your views and also get more subscribers. So this is going to be great. So you can see I have iMovie open on my computer. And the thing that I want to discuss in today's video that will help you so much is adding customized titles. And this is something that you can't really do with whatever features you have available on iMovie itself. So the way this is going to work is you're going to use a customized software. So there's an external site that I use to make this happen. And it works phenomenally well. And let me show you a sample of how we're going to do this so you can get an idea. So what I mean by customized titles is... Affordable price. So I think if you're lucky enough to make your... Ink, for instance, you make your title blink. You make it blink, right? or you make it appear in different spots because it's really important that you change your video all the time, meaning you have um, different angles, you change the text, you have audio, and it's really important because if everything is too predictable, then people are not going to be watching the video until the end. As you can see here, it really helped me a lot with increasing my retention rates and I can watch for this. It just works. So let's get started here. And let's just find a part in this video that I would still need to edit. And probably going to take this part Bingo. here and, you know, just like start partnerships with like-minded individuals who earn their income on the internet. Let's just say we're going to add a little title here. So there's a little site called canva.com. Now canva.com is free. It's a great way for you to create um, like customized titles and graphics. If you've ever watched a YouTube video and you just couldn't stop watching it, like you were so thrilled about it and you enjoyed it so much, probably was because it was so well edited. And the best video editors, the best YouTubers are not only good at shooting videos, but they're also great editors and they're good at graphic design, at designing graphics. And in case they are not doing it themselves, guess what? They have someone who handles this process for them, but they are all good at designing graphics. And I'm personally not a graphic designer. This is something that I learned and it helped me so much. So let me show you what we're going to do here. So here you can see on the left hand side. So first thing is you sign up for an account on canva.com. It's completely free. You don't need the pro version. You sign up for an account. I think you can link your email or your Facebook and maybe you have to confirm it by email or something. I'm not exactly sure because I have my account ready for quite some time. So now that we're on canva.com, you're going to click on, you're going to be logged into your account, click on create design and choose custom dimensions. I always do the 1280 by 720, which is not that important because I'm gonna show you some further tricks on how to make the background transparent and other things that are also really important. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create a title that's gonna pop for the specific part in the video that I showed you before. So you can see on the left-hand side, you have upload, so you can upload anything from your computer. You have photos, you have elements and text. So we're mainly going to be working with elements and text. It's going to be placed in here. It could be a box or it could just be some text too. So maybe we should just make it some text. I think that will work better. And we're going to make this uh, probably green text. Here you can see all the different 
um, pre-created text that we have. So if you choose it, all you need to do is just change up the title. And I want to have something that really pops. Um, yellow is not going to work. So I'm going to choose, I want to have maybe the blue one here. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to get rid of this here because we already put this in here. And now I got two of them. We obviously only need one. I'm going to move this up and I'm going to use the blue one. Okay. And you just highlight it and you want to change the size first, change it to 100. And now we can say take action now. Move it to the middle. And you don't need to worry how this is placed right now because I'm going to show you how to make this a transparent background. The thing is you could do it with canva.com as well. If you clicked on, for instance, download and you would click on transparent. But the problem is this is not included in the free version. They're going to ask you to upgrade. I don't want you to upgrade. I will show you how to do this for free. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download it in .png format. I'm going to click on download. And here it is. So now I'm going to close this, move myself over there. And we're going to go to the finder, find the downloads folder. And it's here. So you can see it was downloaded. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to another website. It's called Lunapic. Lunapic is another great free solution that lets you upload images and customize them. Okay, so whether you need titles, whether you use titles, graphics, or images of yourself that you want to have edited, Lunapic is a great way for you on how to do that. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on upload and we're going to go to desktop and it was to take action now. So we're going to open this up and here you can see it's loaded now. This is what it looks like. So if you upload this to iMovie, you're going to get all the white background, which you don't really need, right? You just want to have the text pop nicely. So here when we scroll up, you go to edit and click on transparent background. That's what we need. And then you click on the background and here you can see what it looks like. Now, there's still some white areas here. So you want to click on mode where it says mode, click on transparent color and click apply. Scroll down again and you can see everything is transparent now. When you click on save now, it will save it again in the downloads folder on your computer. I go to the downloads folder going to put it here. Now we come in here and now we need to find a spot where we want to have this edited. So now it gets exciting. So we're going to click on this, this part that we want to have. So if you're looking to mingle and so I want to have this from this starting point right until about here. So I just click on import. I'm going to select it now. Take action. Transparent. And we have it here. You can see it's been uploaded. Now, if we put this in here, you can see it's been injected into our timeline. It's in our timeline right now. But the problem is it's not in the center. It's not really where we want to have it. We want to have it wherever we want. So the first thing you got to do is you got to go to, so you click on it, right? So it's selected in the timeline. You click on it. And it's very important that you set it to picture and picture. And now you can move it around, you see. So what I want now, what you want is we want to have it centered at the bottom, maybe like this. Maybe make it a little bit bigger so it pops more. This looks pretty good, what do you think? And if we play it now, we're looking to mingle and you know, just you see now it's set to maybe like five to eight seconds and it stretches so it expands. Maybe that's not what we want. So if you don't want that effect, you can click on this here, select it for the can burns effect. But let's say we just want to have it fit regularly. We'll play it now to mingle and, you know, just like start partnerships. Now we have a basic 
title, not a basic, we have a customized title, and it looks a lot better than anything we could do here, you know, which can't really be customized. But if you want to like make it stand out even more because you want to draw more attention, right? Let's say you want this to like blink, okay? You want the title to blink. How do you do that? And I personally have figured this out myself and I'm pretty proud that I did. And it's not that difficult. So if you want to blink it, right? You just shorten it here. So you move it, you find the end of the title and you move it to the left. And now what you're going to do is you're going to select it. You're going to click Command C to copy. And you just have a little bit of space here in between. And then you paste it again. If you're looking to mingle. You see how it blinks nicely now. And if you want to have it do that for a longer period of time, you're just going to put it like this for the whole period, right? For the whole length whole duration, whatever you want to call it. And just copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. Now we're going to click on play again. You're looking to mingle and, you know, just like start partnerships with like minded. Now, the good part about this is, yeah, if you just have it like centered and you have it customized, it also looks nice. But from the testing that I have done, if you have the title like this, like you just have very short versions and you have space in between, right? So it just pops a lot more and you're going to focus on it more like it gets your attention a lot more. And that's why it also increases the retention rate on your YouTube videos. And if you want to do it even better, you can also add an audio clip. There's free audio available here. And if you want to add the cartoon this one, for instance, I'm going to reduce the volume some because I know this is going to be pretty loud right now and I don't want it to be too overwhelmingly loud. So it's like 22% maybe. You're looking to mingle and, you know, just like start. You see, if I would not have this and also not the audio, you know, it would just be very boring. It would not be entertaining to watch. The good thing about iMovie is that, yes, you can use third party software to create graphics, to create designs, to create titles, to really make your video pop a lot more. And this is something you should use and implement immediately to increase the audience retention rate on your videos, to get more subscribers, more views, and build a great YouTube channel. I really hope you enjoyed this video on my advanced iMovie editing tip. If you liked it, I'd appreciate if you shared your appreciation in the form of a like. In case you're not part of this community yet, then subscribe below. There's a red subscribe button, click on that. I'm uploading new videos on Make Money Online editing, with iMovie and many other interesting topics that will help you generate an income on the internet every week. In case you have any questions or want further instructions on this particular video, then feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. I see you on the next video.